So Nikhil, show us what you did in your project this summer. So for this summer, we were uh, trying to network um, five sensors and build a system where we could uh, extract the information uh, from the five sensors uh, live and have it transferred to a base station that's attached to a, a computer uh, and then have the computer uh, manipulate that information by uh, reading from the port to which the base station is attached to uh, and then um, taking that information and storing it into a database and then extracting that information live from the database and transferring it over to some sort of scientific um, software package that would visualize the information in real time. So this is the base station over here and it is currently it currently has a, a green light over there that indicates that it's receiving data currently from all five sensors. Uh, it receives this, uh, the information through the radio antenna. That's an example of an Arduino node with the sensor attached. The white knob over there, that is the temperature sensor. It is also a humidity sensor. Uh, that is our radio antenna over there that sends the information to the base station and in, inside that box is hidden the Arduino node. So we have a total of five sensors in the room and each sensor has a number uh, on the radio antenna that specifies its number and um, each of these nodes are placed in locations where we would record the temperature uh, in real time. One of the sensors uh, has a lamp that is placed close to it so that we could uh, turn on the lamp and see the temperature change uh, in real time and it should show in our visualization map how the temperature changes. So uh, right now I have the terminal on and uh, I'm going to show you um, um, the live feed from the port on the laptop as the base station is receiving data. So I will be running uh, a small program. So what we have here are currently five sensors that are currently streaming live data um, and our system is taking that data and generating a heat map, um, the values of which represent the real temperature distribution in the room. So what we have is a sensor over there and that sensor is close to the door and it's cold. So now I will go and turn on the light above the sensor and there should be a change in the temperature distribution map. No.